that'll wrap it up. I don't know. I mean, it was interesting to go. It's a hell of a thing to, to watch the appeals court in action. Um, they're pretty badass. They're pretty full of pressure. Kind of reminds me of law school. Um, just, uh, you know, a bunch of people going off on you just trying to get you to, to spill it, to make errors, and certainly people did. Post, Rager, Mahoney, the other guy all made errors. You know, what's going to happen? I do not know. My feeling was that um, uh, that they really hammered Ostrager on this idea that the fiduciary responsibility is the only determinant, the only thing to prevent overreaching from uh, from a defender, to prevent someone from holding on to it forever. I think that's a, that's a strong argument. If they're going to argue policy, I think if they're going to argue language, I just don't know. We saw how that went both ways last time. So um, that's my fairly useless legal analysis. Uh, interesting that the PR team for BMW kept all the big names away, all the decision makers away, Tom Eamon, um, uh, James Kearney, and Marie Mahoney. None of them were allowed to speak to us on camera or to any of the other assembled photographers here. Uh, the, the team, the, uh, the ETNZ uh, reporter was a little frustrated. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so none of them were able to speak. It was just, they just had James Spithill and, and John Kostecki here, and really it looked like they were here for just the media, just to be pretty boys in front of the media. They were. They're uh, good guys, and they had a blast, actually. Uh, I think they were both really interested in what went down. It's not something you see every day. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll, we should have seen that already by this time. Um, so other than uh, Gary Jobson giving me a look like he wanted to rip my face off, other than that... Uh, um, nothing else bad happened. Amazingly. I went somewhere and didn't get in trouble. Yeah. Alright, well, the ride's rolling up. I'm going to the airport. See ya.